Hey everybody, this is Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. As you can see by the title, it is time for us to post our project for the Sweet Treats collab with Memory Lane Keepsakes. And um, so every month, you know, we have a theme and we have to incorporate that with Sweet Treats. So, um, before I get started, all of the collaborators will be listed in the description box, also along with the participants. Now, if you would like to participate, um, this, is, this is a collaboration that is all year long. So, the collaborators are full, but if you would like to participate, then you can contact Tanya over at Memory Lane Keepsakes. And... Um, you know, you could jump in, you know, whenever you know that you're able to do it. A lot of people could not commit to a whole year, which is understandable. So, anywho, all that information will be in the description box. So, this month's theme was kitchen. So, you're probably looking at this saying, well, that's just a cupcake. <laughs> but, this is what I started with. So, this is not... Um, the only thing that I did. So I had these little cups in my stash and these are like the little, I guess little ice cream cups that you get from Dollar Tree. So I had that in my stash. So I was like, I want to make something, a cupcake, you know. So this is what I came up with. So you can put all kinds of little trinkets or, um, whatever, just craft supplies, and then you can just set it up, and it's a cute little cupcake. So that's what I started off doing, and I was like, mm, no, I'm, I'm not satisfied. So, and plus it's not kitchen. Where's the kitchen at? So I set that right there, and I have this here. What I did is this is a spatula that I altered. So I just had this little um, braided twine that I just did a little bow and then I wrapped it around the handle and I came down and I just filled it up with these little flowers, a little bit of um, tool here, like decorative tool. And then I put some stamens up in here so that's where my kitchen comes in, is with this spatula. And I didn't do nothing to the back because it actually has, you know, a little hole at the top. You know, you can hang it or whatever. But that's not... I didn't stop there. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cute. But... So this is my main project is this right here and I know I know a lot of you veteran um, crafters y'all know where I'm going with this so this is something that is not new at all I think this was a trend a few years back but you know YouTube would pretty much show you anything you want to see so what I did is I just went and picked up this little um, muffin pan um, you can call it a muffin pan or a cupcake pan muffin tin or whatever but I got it at the Dollar Tree and it is you know metal tin metal so what I did is I just took it uh oh my stuff is falling out and I spray painted it white all the way around and what I did is I have this felt here that is, um, I cut out some circles, you know, just so it wouldn't scratch on the surface. So I did that, and I also cut out some more just to put on the inside here, just to keep from it getting scratched. Now, a lot of uh, the crafters put this um, doilies. They put little doilies in the bottom, but I didn't have any doilies. But I did have this really nice thick felt. 
So I just cut the circle and I'll put that in there. And then I use some trim here and put it all the way around. And then I topped it off with this other trim here. Hope y'all can see that real good. And I just did it all the way around. And I hate when the tr when your real pretty trim folds in like that. But maybe it'll straighten out when it hangs. So I went all the way around with those two trims there. And then on the top, I just had these little um, sheets of bling here. And I just put some throughout, you know, here and there. And then these, where this bling is here, is actually a hole. So I just covered it up with a bigger bling. And then in the middle, I've been making those bead centerpieces. So I don't know how well y'all can see that. But I made two, and I put right there in the center. So that is my muffin pan. So that's where my kitchen comes in, my kitchen thing. But I didn't stop there. And like I said, I, I know you veteran crafters is no, knows what's coming next. So what I did is I made some more little cupcakes. And this here, all this is here is just a plastic container. I could have, I did, tongue tied. So I do have these real small doily dies and I just cut those out and put them in the bottle there in the bottom just to give it some extra and then it has a clear lid and what I did is I just layered up my um, material and tool and I layered it on top of another piece of felt that I just glued to the lid and then um, I glued all of my tool and fabric and I just kind of layered up and up and up until I like came to a point to where it looked like a little cupcake so that's what I did there and then so I did all of them like that so this is what I did here so there you go there is my cupcake tin and cupcakes so I thought that was so cute and then when I seen these um, videos on YouTube and I was like yep that's what I have to do there's so many out there I don't really know this you know who to give the credit to um, that started this because I have no idea but I know um, one name that I can remember was um, I'm pretty sure it was Beady Bomb Bomb that I watched. I think she has a tutorial on how to make these flowers. But, um, you know, I didn't have what she had. So I just had to make it do with what I had. But I think it turned out really, really cute. So that is my Sweet Treats project for... The month of March, this is our third month, and here is also my spatula. And you guys, when I started making this, this is what I had in mind, but, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, because there's no way that this was going to fit in there. But that was my idea when I seen these in my stash, is for me to you know put them there but it was like totally too big and I had already started it and I really wanted to go with the the pink and the cream this is actually a cream color and pink when these are pink and white so um, that was my original thought in my head but I really didn't have enough of cream to do you know six of these but I really liked how it turned out. So that is my project. I hope you like it. If you like my project, please give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, that's it. 
And I thank you all for watching. And please don't forget to go and check out the other ladies in the collaboration. And like I said, also the participants. Uh, Tanya, who is Memory Lane Keepsakes, she will be at the top of the list. So if maybe you're interested um, for next month or whenever, just contact her. And I'm sure she will get back to you. And she will, um, I don't know what the theme is for next month. Um, so I have no idea, but it is fun because um, some of these things, themes have been challenging for me, but I always seem to um, come through with it. But um, a challenge is always good. So, and it's so much fun. I am really enjoying this collaboration. This is the first one that I've ever done, and I really, really am enjoying it. Plus, it's a, it's a once a month project. So, you can't go wrong. You have a whole month. <laughs> so, anywho, thank you all for watching, and y'all have a great rest of your day.